Good evening, and welcome to evening prayer from the Episcopal Church of the Holy Apostles in Hoover, Alabama. We will begin this evening on page 116 of the Book of Common Prayer. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now, as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O oh, Son of God, O oh, giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The Psalms appointed for this evening are Psalm 119, portions of Psalm 119, beginning in verse 121. I have done what is just and right. Do not deliver me to my oppressors. Be surety for your servant's good. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes have failed from watching for your salvation and for your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your loving kindness, and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Grant me understanding, that I may know your decrees. It is time for you to act, O Lord, for they have broken your law. Truly, I love your commandments more than gold or precious stones. I hold all your commandments to be right for me, all paths of falsehood I abhor. Your decrees are wonderful, therefore I obey them with all my heart. When your word goes forth, it gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant. I long for your commandments. Turn to me in mercy, as you always do to those who love your name. Steady my footsteps in your word. Let no iniquity have dominion over me. Rescue me from those who oppress me, and I will keep your commandments. Let your countenance shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears, because people do not keep your law. You are righteous, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. You have issued your decrees with justice and imperfect faithfulness. My indignation has consumed me because my enemies forget your words. Your word has been tested to the uttermost, and your servants hold it dear. I am small and of little account, yet I do not forget your commandments. Your justice is an everlasting justice, and your law is the truth. 
trouble and distress have come upon me, yet your commandments are my delight. The righteousness of your decrees is everlasting. Grant me understanding that I may live. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 4. On that day the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the land shall be the pride and glory of the survivors of Israel. Whoever is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called holy. Everyone who has been recorded for life in Jerusalem, once the Lord has washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem from its midst by a spirit of judgment and by a spirit of burning, then the Lord will create over the whole site of Mount Zion and over its places of assembly a cloud by day, and smoke, and the shining of a flame, flaming fire by night. Indeed, over all the glory there will be a canopy. It will serve as a pavilion, a shade by day from the heat, and a refuge and a shelter from the storm and the rain. Here ends the reading. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord, O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky. Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer. Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet. Glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters, all birds of the air. Glorify the Lord. Praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds, O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. A reading from Ephesians chapter 4. I, therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, 
beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it is said, when he ascended on high, he made a captivity, he made captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to his people. When it says he ascended, what does it mean but that he had also descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is the same one who ascended far above all the heavens, so that he might fill all things. The gifts he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children, tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, to Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knitted together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in the building itself up in love. Here ends the reading. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew chapter 8. When he came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs came out of the tomb, coming out of the tombs, met him. They were so fierce that no one could pass that way. Suddenly they shouted, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now, a large herd of swine was feeding at some distance from them. The demons begged him, If you cast us out, send us into the herd of swine. He said to them, Go. So they came out and entered the swine. And suddenly the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and perished in the water. The swine herds ran off, and on going into the town, they told the whole story about what had happened to the demoniacs. Then the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. Here ends the reading. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Through your dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, after his glorious resurrection, he openly appeared to his disciples and in their sight ascended into heaven to prepare a place for us that where he is, there we might also be and reign with him in glory. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite you now to pause the recording and offer your own inner prayers of intercession and thanksgiving, but return for the general thanksgiving. The General Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. 
Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be, may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.